It's June 8, 2022, Corey Angle, another Talking to Myself video. Today I want to talk about the uh, key to stopping inflation, and that is competition. If you turn on the mainstream media, they're going to tell you you've got to raise interest rates, this will stop inflation. They're full of shit. The Harvard educated economists, I'm here to tell you they don't know what the hell they're talking about. If you want to stop inflation, it's competition. And let's not confuse overall economic inflation with price spikes on certain products. For instance, the price of chicken wings. A couple months back, they went through the roof. <clears throat> you know what? Competition? You don't have to buy chicken wings. Customers will buy something else. I don't care if it's a price spike on bicycles, uh, lumber, whatever. These things are short-lived. It's, it's simple supply and demand. You get a quick demand, the supply is low, the price goes up. <clears throat> but everything levels itself out. Real inflation is caused by the price of energy, which is set by big oil, the price of the pumps. Here in central Pennsylvania, we're at 5.15 a gallon right now for regular gasoline, diesel $6 a gallon. There's no competition. It's not like you drive to the next gas station and you see it for three dollars a gallon. The whole oil industry, in my opinion, is a basically a communistic entity. There is no capitalism that exists in that industry any longer. They have centralized control. Whatever they charge, you're going to pay. That's the end of it. In my opinion, the inflation is all caused by the price of energy price of fuel, especially diesel, it affects everything. Every product, service. You can't have a product or service in this country where money doesn't funnel back to the oil companies. It affects the price of everything. <clears throat> That's where competition comes into play. What do we need? We need an alternative to the price of oil, to the price of gas at the pumps. How would you like to be able to not have to drive your car up to a pump and pay over $100 to fill it? There's no competition. There's no alternative. Yeah, you can buy a Tesla <clears throat> if you have 50, 60, sometimes more, thousand dollars. Most people don't have that. We're not to that point yet. <clears throat> but the key to stopping inflation is competition. Raising the interest rates, it's all smoke and freaking mirrors. Right now, this is the time period that I refer to as the big suck. It's like the same thing that happened in 2008. You have the price of energy going through the freaking roof. They, they, they cry on TV, oh, we have to raise the interest rate to stop this inflation. Hey, it's all fine and freaking dandy. The fall of money. Who's making all the money? The oil companies and the freaking banks. What happens when you raise the interest rate? The banks make more money. The idea of slowing down the economy because they're not lending money, this is nonsense. You know, first of all, a bank won't lend any money if you don't have the cash flow to support that loan or the assets to support that loan. They're not going to lend it. It doesn't matter what the interest rate is. The economy thrives when people are spending money. I recently watched a YouTube video by Johnny Harris, and I, I normally like his videos, have a lot of respect for what he says and what he does. I think he was working with Vox, which is yet another well-known YouTube channel. And you know, he's saying he went to college for years and studied economics. And what my opinion is, poor Johnny, he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. The key to bringing prices down is competition. I, I look at things through my pizza shop. If I were to charge an outrageous price for pizza, people have an alternative. They can go buy something else. They don't have to buy anything at all. <clears throat> Energy is not like that. You want to get to work? You got to pay. You want to heat your house? You got to pay. You want to power your house? gotta pay. And you know what, suckers? You gotta pay whatever we're charging you. Because you don't have an alternative. There's no competition. I don't know. 
uh, if there's anybody out there listening, let me know what you think. Again, I'm not looking for haters. Have a good one. Bye.